We did it. It is here. Stone Week, day seven. The grand finale is upon us. Is the anticipation killing you? We're doing Life Wasted for Nick Croce, Walter Roveri, Jody Hay. Hey, Jody Hay. Evan Hall, Dave Hawker, Owen. I had a red eared slider named Owen. And Nathan PRZ. Perhaps fittingly, that was the first request ever on the channel. <laughs> but I have some bad news for you. Uh, Stone Week took a lot out of me. You know, usually there's like a live version or, or some information on the songs, but many of these songs, there was none of that. Nothing where I could sort of peek through the production and my musical neurons are just completely fried. So I'm sorry that I can't take you all the way home by myself, but I need to tag team it with my, uh, with my special guest host here. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hey, I just want to uh, thank Brian for uh, making a lot of good instructional videos and helping me learn some Chris Cornell songs, um, which I'm excited about learning. And um, there's a lot of chords, so he's, he's really good at figuring out those chords. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Ryan. Uh, I'm going to do a guest segment uh, in Ryan's place. I'm going to uh, show you guys how to play Life Wasted which is um, capo on the uh, fourth, except for the low E, you leave that open. And then you just play the chords kind of right above the capo. Uh, so a few, few parts opening from the D, D position. Chord, but you'll leave the B and G and the D and the open E strings open. So.
Thanks a lot, Ryan. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. I've watched that 600 times and it hits me just as hard every single time. We appreciate you, Stone. Thank you so much for that. Uh, you've got a lot of friends here, so I'll bet you just made a lot of spots on the world a lot brighter. After all, if it wasn't for you, we might all be Nickelback fans. <laughs> I'm going to go through piece by piece and just expand on a couple of little points that Stone made. Don't move. Whew. All right, we're back. Okay, so you got your capo, except for the E string, and you got your D and your A and your C, and then when you slide up two frets on that A string, picture your G, bar, your G power chord. You see that that note is in your G bar chord, and therefore it's also in a G chord. So you want to strum your A, D, G, and B strings when you're on that one, and that makes it a G chord. But on the second, the fourth, and the, the even numbered times, it slides up a half a beat earlier, so you have half a beat longer to hang on that note before you do your walk down. In other words, immediately after you strum the C. First one. Second one. That's all I have to say about that part. I don't have anything to add here, I just really like this part. Maneuver around the capo is, is the hardest thing. If you watch the, the Letterman performance from right when this album came out, you'll see one quick clip of Stone going, yikes! 11, like he said, two relative capo, and then a C chord without the rest of it. Just let that ring out before you go back to... Can't be done! Triple D, A, and a G. But for whatever reason, Stone didn't want that B note, that lower B note of the two B notes in the G chord. Can't argue with him, it's his song. Just steer clear that baby E string during that G. to say the line at the beginning of this whole of this that I wanted to say which is I'm going to stick with the acoustic guitar here so I do not disrupt the tableau anyways stone got a little discombobulated during the bridge there no problem stone tag me in tag me in okay cool so F bar chord but no bar so open E and B string stone said that up to your 11th fret thing I feel like in the recording I hear that open G string so you might want to mute your D string and strum through the, the G string there. Do it again. Why invite it to stay? One more time. But this time, the 11th fret thing gets cut into by the second fret, and then you end on that C chord without the rest of the C chord thing. And that is it. We did it. Those are the pieces to Life Wasted, and that is the conclusion, the grand finale of Stone Week 2018. I bet you thought I had nothing. <laughs> Gosh, that was a lot of fun, and we got to learn the song together from Stone. So extra special thanks to you, Stone, for taking the time to do that, and extra, extra special thanks to all of you for being here, you know, this week and, and every week, because none of this would have ever happened without you. This is awesome. You're awesome. We're awesome. I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.